Revealing the first of the new generation AC75s was a big deal. In recent weeks, the Swiss had hinted that their new AC75 would be radical. And now we've seen the first few bits of her, they were right. Alinghi Red Bull Racing are the first cup team to reveal their weapon of choice for the 37th America's Cup. And the launch was done with all the usual Alinghi flair. But for many cup watchers, this was more than just a glitzy ceremony. This is the first of a new generation. At the very least, there'll be no confusing this one with their previous generation AC75, Boat Zero as they refer to it. So what stands out? First, there's a chine in the bow section. This could be to help with the bigger sea state in Barcelona. We've seen it on other high performance boats like the Amokas and even as far back as the Volvo 70. Her raised foredeck makes her look like a giant international moth. This could be an aerodynamic feature and or to satisfy the minimum volume restriction in the class rule. The small crew cockpits are a departure from last time, as there are now only eight crew, including the four cyclos on board. Below the waterline, there's a deep, aggressive skeg that runs the full length of the hull. This is a key feature that makes the entire sail plan package more efficient by creating an end plate effect and sealing the hull off against the water's surface. This is very important when it comes to getting the boat up onto her foils. Of course, there's nothing new in this, but it's a more aggressive design than we've seen before. It's very flat too, with no rocker. But the most noticeable feature is the radical cutaway stern. With no running backstays this time around, there's very little structural loading at this end of the boat. Instead, the mast is supported mainly by the main sheet. This means that weight can be saved and used elsewhere in the structure to hit the all-up total weight of just under 7 tonnes. The mast step is also quite interesting. Following on from the Kiwi's interpretation of the rule last time, the heel is mounted on a pedestal below the level of the deck. The maximum length of the mast is measured to the deck. Placing the rotating heel lower than the deck means that the mast tube extension is added to give a slightly longer mast and deeper mainsail. The Swiss bought the Kiwi's first AC75 from the last cup, so perhaps it's not that surprising. But there was one area that Alinghi definitely didn't want us to see, the foils. The rules say that boats can't be shrouded, but that doesn't include the foils. So, dressed up in a couple of box-like structures that made it look like their AC75 was wearing winter boots, we'll just have to wait until they launch to see these foils. So the Swiss team told us to expect Radical, and they weren't kidding. Meanwhile, American Magic's boat has arrived in Barcelona, followed shortly by the British machine. And with the launch of the Italian and Kiwi boats rumoured to be very soon, it's going to be an exciting month.